Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very simple yet very effective automation that a lot of us has been uh, been missing out on. So if we talk about client onboarding, almost every business go through a client onboarding or a general customer onboarding process that includes or may include a contract signing process. So contract signing is a feature available in high level if you don't know about it already which you can get access to by going under payments and going to documents and contracts all documents and contracts what i'm trying to implement in this video is if you create a document or a contract let's let's call it a contract for this video so if you create a contact a contract for someone that you want to send it to for if you have sold a service or a product or any sold anything and then you want him or her to go through a contract signing process what you want to do is you have to sign the contract the person you're sending to has to sign the contract and what you want to be done is when the person signs the contract when the contract is signed or completed you want an invoice to be sent automatically so for that what we can do is we could let's let's start by creating a document or like a contract you know so i'll call this a, a web design service contract so here you could do a lot of stuff like you could do text you could do image you could do like you know whatever you want really so you could also uh, you could also include products so you could just say product list and add an item and if you have a product created inside your high level sub account under payments and products you can add that by coming here so what they cannot do is they cannot pay or they can only select what they want so once that's done they you could just uh, add a signature field here uh, followed by a date field here you know so you know, that's the date field and you could add another signature field here and then followed by a date field here so that's pretty uh decent contract signing uh like you know that's that's all the elements basically we need in a contract right so let's save it and uh what i want to do is i want to add multiple people to it so i, I want to add recipients so I could add myself. Yeah, that's me. So I'll add this to myself. Or uh, I can add more people, right? So John Doe will be another one. So I'll set signing order. So I'll say this will be signed by me. This will be assigned by signed by the other person. Or all right, cool. Yeah, this will be also signed by me. I guess I just added myself twice by mistake, so I could just remove one of these. Uh, yeah, okay. So, what I could do is I could just assign this to the other person whom um, I'm sending this to, of course. And then I can add a... That's the signing order right there. That's done. Save it. And now you can just, if you hit send, this document will be sent to both, really. It will be sent to you, it will be sent to John Doe, the person whom you're sending it to. And uh, now I'll go back and then I'll add another thing called an invoice. So what I want is when this contract is completed, this is pretty much like Pandadox if you've used it. So once the contract is completed, I want to send an invoice. So the invoice will be web design invoice and uh, this will be actually sent to John Doe or do you keep it blank for now just to uh, add a template you know add an item yep web development that's the one and if you want to add more stuff to it do add it uh, I guess I just need to add something and now I could uh, save it and now I can convert it to a template so that's what i need web design invoice template and hit save so we have our template we have our contract now we go to automation and uh, we just say by going to the workflow folder start from scratch you can create a workflow wherever you want really i'm just keeping track of everything i'm creating in this tutorial series so i'm gonna say contract signed send invoice that's it so we are gonna say the trigger is when the document is completed so we are gonna say contracts 
and in the filter we are going to check document status is completed and then one more thing we need to check is uh, CPN type is you could say business user or contact you could do that but I'm not trying to do that now so we are saying basically when the contract is completed we want to send an invoice so send invoice and from here you can select from user whom it's being sent from and the template and that's it so it's gonna basically send the invoice when the contract is signed so when you send the contract to someone to your potential client who's not a client yet or who has whom you've just closed if you set signing orders so you can see that by going to payments and the document and contracts go to the contract it's in draft because if you, you you haven't sent it yet right so you can come over here and set signing order so whom does it get first sent to so i guess i'll, I'll send it to myself first so this is the signer and then this is the primary contact this is the like i, I guess i could remove myself you know so these are the two signers then they have to uh, sign it, of course. And then when it, it both the parties sign the contract, it uh, it gets completed. And then the automation kicks off by saying that, okay, the document is completed. Just send the invoice. That's it. That's a pretty simple workflow that you could create to automate the invoice sending process. So you don't have to do it manually all the time when you when someone signs a contract really. So hope this video was helpful. This is a really simple process, but this is really effective, trust me. So hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.